I want to talk to you from God's point of view. God says it is unnatural. He says it's it's wrong. It's not, um, and people will say, um, well, this is the way I feel. Well, that's what the rapist says too, and that's what the murderer says. These people who, who do this, um, especially uh, people that make a practice of this sort of thing, they this is what they want to do. How you're born and your sexual orientation doesn't define you as a person. Um, I think if it doesn't pass, the people that are trying to push it through will make them work even harder to try and get it to go through. Uh, I don't have a, a problem with gay people or otherwise. Like I say, I'm quite open-minded to the whole thing. And um, I know my husband wasn't. And we met Michael, like, because of where we lived. And he's come round. So, like, he's, like, open-minded about it now as well. It's like there are people as well. They have feelings. Um, it's just that they have feelings for the people of the same sex. But it's not that they're going to fancy you just because you're a guy or whatever. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. The Catholic Church is opposed to redefining marriage. The present understanding of marriage behind our Marriage Act as it stands reflects an understanding of marriage in society that is correct that is that is the way marriage was intended to be and has been from the beginning because i see marriage as um, creating a family whereas civil union to me is more about legalizing a partnership in almost the same way that you might in a business sense as well and so I think that gay people have should have the right to create a family if that's what they want to do the the personal effects the marriage equality amendment bill has on me uh, would be none of any If we're walking away from what it's always been defined as, it can't be a good outcome. And one of the problems I believe that homosexuals really face, and I sympathize with them on this point, they know it's wrong and they want approval. They want people to say it's not wrong. They want an approval that they can't get from God. I don't believe a person is born um, to only be attracted to the same sex. I think that it can feel natural and that what they're experiencing is real, um, but it's not good. It is not um, healthy. It, it's it's not natural. When you ask someone what's your opinion about it and they have a negative opinion about it, they're judging someone based purely on their sexual preference and I don't think that's right at all. Homosexuality is a fact and the Catholic Church tends to accept facts. What the Catholic Church objects to is homosexual acts.
I think people judge too harshly. They don't actually stop to think. They don't see them as a person. They think about what they do. And it's majority of the time with homosexuality, they think of what they do sexually. And that makes them forget about makes them forget about the, that it actually is a person that has got so many other assets and things that they contribute to the world that's actually important, that's relevant. Everything else is irrelevant. There's heterosexual people, there's homosexual people. I don't see anything different in it. I just think it's the way people are made. Just because a person has a certain label on them doesn't make them a good or a bad person. They just as they just are. If you allow this, if you have this uh, same-sex marriage, you are putting out a message to the future, to young people, that of what marriage is. And we will regret it. We will regret it because all of a sudden um, people are going to start um, realizing that we're destroying something, we're demeaning something. I just have a, a great concern for the acceptance of the lifestyle because that's dangerous for them. For them to think, oh, God will accept me. It's like, well, he doesn't. So, uh, you know, when you have a group of people that are marginalized out for any reason, then that affects the overall stability of the society you live in. That's how I feel. So I don't understand people that are against it because it's got to be a good thing for society, not a bad thing. The more people that are same thinking about things like that, the better. You do, you, your bad attitude does get passed on to the next generation, to your kids, and they take that out into society because they think it's okay because it's what you display in the home. To, to get over your prejudice and to accept things the way they are, you have to have quite a bit of confidence in yourself and you have to be willing to stretch yourself and, uh, and step outside your comfort zone. So prejudice is tied up with complacency um, and comfort zones and laziness. And so, you know, if they say, why don't you leave us alone? I could say, well, why are you standing in the public arena? Why are you shouting and asking everybody to look at you? Why do you want, why don't you stay in your house? Why do you want to come into my church? <laughs> You know, that's what people probably do it. Makes them feel a bit superior. Oh, those people are useless. Or those people are gay, you know. And what are they saying to themselves? Oh, I'm never going to be gay. Oh, I'm better than them, you know. They're born wrong or, or whatever. But, um, hmm. I think people should just stop worrying about other people's lives so much and they should carry on with their own. Because they waste too much energy when it's energy that could put, be put towards better things than caring about someone else's relationship. It's their life and how they choose to live it. If it's not hurting anyone, then let it slide.